Hello, we are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we will be showing you how to install the electronic controller and pump configuration. Here, you can see the junction box for the electronic controller. The other half of the electronic controller is the control panel as seen here. Using a flat screwdriver, you can open the controller by placing it in the top snaps and gently prying it into two halves. Once open, you are able to access the wiring for the controller. Here you can see the electronic controller, junction box, and pump configuration in a conventional setup. With the electronics and pump configuration secure, it is time to start the wiring. Keep in mind that depending on your area and local government, you may require a licensed electrician to complete this step for you. Here you can see the electronic controller being wired to the junction box. With the power supply in place, let us move on to wiring the variable three-speed circulation pump to the junction box. There are at least two thermocouples that will also need to be wired to the junction box. One thermocouple is based in the manifold of the solar collector and the other inside the water tank. The first being installed here is the exterior thermocouple that is inserted into the collector's manifold. Next is the wiring of the interior thermocouple that will be inserted into the water tank. As well as a color difference with the exterior thermocouple being black, the interior gray, there are also differences in their resistances. This means that they are not interchangeable and if improperly wired, the controller will not function properly. Now that all the wires are in place, proceed to replace the junction box cover to protect the wiring.